lovely day! Welcome to Flat Earth Debate, Uncut and After Show. I'm your host Nathan Oakley and if you're new to this channel or you've not done so already then be sure to subscribe and hit the bell notification icon to keep up to date with the Flat Earth Debate. If you'd like to join the community debate then go to nathanoakley.com and check out the Flat Earth Debate forum which you should definitely join. If you'd like to support the channel then there is a super chat that runs alongside each of these shows while they premiere. There's also a PayPal, Patreon and crypto link in the info box below the video. Now we're currently joined by both Discord and Google Plus Hangouts on air panels. So I'll say hello to both of you. Welcome one and all. Good afternoon. Welcome. Thank you. Hey, hey, hey. We'll go live in about 10, 15 minutes, there or thereabouts. Feel free to chat amongst yourselves. Hey, Nathan, radio chick. Hey, hey, Quantum Eraser. Good to have you. Uh, yeah, listen, if I have to drop... Uh... Something's going to come up here in a couple in in the next fifteen or twenty minutes. I'm going to drop off the call and then I'll I'll be back later. All right. No worries. All right. Wait, wait to kill completely kill my intro. Sorry. About is, that. The, <laughs> is is the conversation we're having? Can I continue with our new friend on gravity? I'm, I'm yeah. sorry. Yeah. Be my guest. So, so when this hit me, then I had to go from the measurement of the globe, eight inches per mile square and all that kind of stuff. Then it led to um, gravity. What is gravity? And then you figure out they say it's mass attracting mass, Newtonian. And then they go to Einsteinian, which is uh, bending of space time. What, where are you on that? Yeah. Honestly, I don't know. All right. So what makes the water level on a flat earth? Uh, I honestly don't know. I mean, this is, I say this is all new to me. Uh, I'm, if you're looking for some sort of scientific insight into my thoughts on it i haven't i haven't approached that yet i have always just followed the normal taught aspects of gravity and relativity and everything else that you uh, that well, you do you believe up do you do you believe you can have water stick to outside of a ball and stay on without something? well you see i never questioned it before it's not a, it's not really it was never do you believe it it's I never questioned it, which is distinctly different. Yeah, I think a lot of us were there. Well, yeah. Okay, yeah, just to intervene. That's what I was saying. From, from the last conversation on the last show, the thing that I picked up on is that you still do. So you, your way of phrasing your Elsa Craig images was to say you went to the calculator and looked at how much should or should not be there, which is to say that in so doing, you're taking it as red that the Earth is a sphere. You're instantaneously no, no. begging the question. Sorry, didn't mean to cut across you there. Just I thought with, with the way it worked, I thought you had finished. Sorry. Oh, go ahead. Uh, no, just saying, no, I, I don't approach it from that angle, um, but I can certainly see how my answers would, would indicate that. But no, um, at the minute, I'm, I'm basing everything on what I see, but because I'm obviously coming from a background of, hey, we live on a globe, <laughs> because I come from that, um, that's going to be the natural point of default uh, whenever you're trying to work things out, especially at the minute when it's all quite so, wow, mm, okay. Things are not how I was taught they are, and they certainly don't seem it. That's not what I'm seeing when I use my eyes. But that's precisely my point. The trick is to indoctrinate you to instantaneously beg the question. Work from the standpoint of being on a globe first and foremost. So when anything comes up, like, I don't know, an, an image that uh, you see and then you go, well, should I see it? You're going to work from that premise. 
that's how it's not just you i'm not being personal to you it's everybody everybody's indoctrinated from birth pretty much to have the idea the notion that we're in a heliocentric world well if your standpoint from the start is to assume that that is the case you've indoctrinated your subjects us in this instance to instantaneously beg the question that is that is the point so i understand you're saying well my defense is i like everybody start from the point of being on a globe well that's the point you start from being on a globe well that's where they win so most of the arguments that we see in this territory are flat earthers that will automatically allow their opponents to beg the question start on a sphere let's see how it works on a sphere mm. i see yes i i see what you mean But it's tough. It's tough uh, unbrainwashing people, you know, even people on our own side. So Spurs Chemo is always going to get the arse end of this shout out to Spurs Chemo. But, you know, he wants to work within the fallacy because that's what they demand we do. And, you know, without sounding too arrogant, I like to think I'm on the other side of that where I, you know, I don't care what their model says anymore. It doesn't mean anything. So begging the question just because they demand it, well, I'd just rather laugh at them. <laughs> that's more logical than than arguing within a fallacy it just seems like a waste of time I concur yeah, well, with that. It, it does mean that you look at things differently i have to admit you know you, you now whenever i i suppose the innocence is broken and in that when i look out at the sea now and i'm looking at I'm, I'm looking at it with a critical eye so every time i look at a boat every time i look at the distant shore anything like that it, it's no longer a a rosy picture. It's a critical eye looking at everything that may be a, a little clue or a little hint or a little ah, there we go. You know. Right. That's wonderful. That's the best bit for me. Perceive the world, not the dream in your mind. Right. You yeah. suddenly open yeah. your eyes a bit. I, what I found interesting was when I asked if, if you were looking anyway, you said yes. Which I certainly was. You know, I had a telescope, I was often out looking at the stars till God knows what hour in the morning. Um but mm -hmm. you know, so it wasn't that I wasn't aware of my surroundings i absolutely was and it sound uh, i absolutely was yeah and it sounds like you were also you know it's just there are a certain number of people that they, they'll ask the most benign questions on account of the fact that they simply weren't aware of their surroundings before they came across this slightly disturbing truth that they've been lied to about the heliocentric world and living on a sphere and then they start going outside and looking at the stars and whatever me i was already looking it sounds like you were too Absolutely, yeah. Uh, any opportunity I had, um, I no longer use telescopes any longer because I, I just can't really be bothered getting them all out and fitting them all up and getting the eyepieces in and whatnot. I tend to stick now with binoculars and an extremely good spotting scope. That sort of does the job for me, but it means I'm, I can do things quickly. So I have a couple of distant objects I can see from the back of my house, which uh, if I can see them clearly, then I realize, okay, atmosphere might be good here. So I head down the beach and see what else I can see. Yeah, it's obviously nice to go down to the beach. My, my folks used to live in a, a part uh, on the border of Wales where it was the lowest light pollution in the whole country. And it was, regardless of telescope or binoculars or anything, I'd used all of them up there, but nothing was comparable to just the naked eye to to be able to take in the expanse of it in pit well sometimes it was complete darkness in other words you, you could go outside put your hand in front of your face a foot you couldn't see it <laughs> it was absolute pitch black it was wonderful for looking at the stars and they had a hot tub like an outdoor hot tub so you could sit there turn all the lights off in the hot tub really nice and warm angled perfectly and just sit and watch shooting stars go past and see all the stuff that people, you know, when people, maybe you don't, but people describe what they see when they put on infrared goggles and look up at the stars. Well, some of the things that I'd, up until being out in a hot tub for a prolonged period of time, I just assumed that they would only be visible, you know, the stuff, the shit that's moving around up there when you've got those, those goggles on. Well, it's not the case. If you sit and let your eyes adjust and you're in enough darkness, there's all sorts of stuff going on in the sky. There's stuff moving around all over the place. It's amazing. Absolutely. 20 minutes, your eyes adjust, and you see a lot more. Yeah. I, even if you aren't one of those people that was, you know, looking around 
taking in the sunshine, stopping and smelling the roses. And I'm not talking figuratively here. I'm talking literally. If you weren't one of those people, then, you know, it's it's nice when you come to this subject and suddenly potentially become one of those people and start taking in your surroundings. There's a, it's just that that seems to fall into one of two categories. People who are quite pleased with that and are like, wow, well, I'll start looking with a more critical eye, as you put it, or basically taking in the world to a greater extent and, and asking questions about the world you live in. That's wonderful for me. The other is, oh, my God, we don't know. Who are we going to ask? Where are we going to go? Who's got the answers? We haven't got any answers anymore. Oh, no. And I'm just like, man, the people that go to pieces over this just because they haven't got a big daddy figure that apparently was telling them the truth is just shocking. You know, people go to go to pieces over not knowing anymore. It's like me not knowing. Wow, that's cool. We might find out. <laughs> I might be the one to find out. Wow, that's ace. <laughs> <laughs> Yep, I can agree with that. <laughs> when, I, when I found this, I was like, yes! That's why I, I felt I was crazy all my life thinking, this glow doesn't make sense. People can't be sticking to the side of a spinning ball. That makes no sense. So when I found this, for me, it was, oh, that's what it is. That's what's wrong with this freaking world that I live in, that I've been told and shown on television. But then I go outside and I don't experience that world. So for me, this this was freaking awesome. I don't care. <laughs> it's great. Yeah. Well said, Chocolate. Hey, can I cup, do a couple no, admin a journey. notes? Um, can I do a couple I'm admin notes? I'm steps on that journey, but it is a journey oh, all the same. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Sorry. Go can on. I do a couple admin notes, please? Sure. Go ahead. Be my guest. Slayer of so, Prey, you are you there? Come off mute. Move after show. You are Retro Bill Radio Check. Retro Bill Radio Check. After show. Plain Reality Radio Check. Plain Reality Radio Check. Yep. You just went on mute and you will go to the after show. We already got Grave Dodger. Dougie. Radio check. Don't get me. <laughs> okay, I think we're good now. We've got about three gaps. So. Yeah, question. Um, have you seen lighthouses from where you are? Uh, there is a lighthouse, actually. Hello? Um, Look, stop calling me. I don't care what Zanik said. I'm not interested. I didn't. I called you once. Look, stop calling here. Zanik's dad keeps calling me back because people keep hassling me. I don't get it. What's wrong with that guy? Welcome to Flat Earth Debate Live. I'm your host Nathan Oakley and if you're new to this channel or you've not done so already, how dare you, then be sure to subscribe and hit the bell notification icon to keep up to date with the Flat Earth Debate. If you'd like to join the community debate, then go to nathanoakley.com and check out the Flat Earth Debate Forum, which you should definitely join. If you'd like to support the channel, there is a super chat that runs alongside each of these shows while they are live. There's also a PayPal, Patreon, and crypto link in the info box below the video. Most importantly, if you'd like to join the discussion, simply mute the page you are currently watching, then click the link in the info box below this video to join the panel and express your views on the shape of the Earth do join please don't swear if you do you'll be ejected and if you are please don't try to rejoin the stream using sock accounts you'll be warmly welcome back on the next stream please also share the show on social media sharing the show obviously increases the live audience but this in turn increases the chances of a more diverse panel so please please share the show 
And one last time, if you're new to the channel or you've not done so already, then be sure to subscribe and hit the bell notification icon to keep up to date with the Flat Earth Debate. I'm going to do some very quick shout outs to the people who've been supporting me on Patreon. So a big shout out to Chow Young Cat, Christina Barker, Dank, David Wayne Foster, God Rockin', Jeronism, Kristen Smith, Matt, No Proof, and Rene. Thank you very much indeed to all of your support, uh, for all of your support. We are currently joined by Arwin, Chocolate Saying, Paul, and Tenth Man in the Google Plus Hangout. And we are also joined by a whole bunch of people on Discord. So a very warm welcome to you, one and all. Hello. Hey, yo, yo. Howdy, Nathan. Hello. Awesome. So who's going to kick off with some housekeeping then? Do I have to nominate Any someone? signs? Any signs of Earth curvature? Nope. Discord? Anybody in Discord? Uh, Any fundies with the globe belief? Yeah, there's definitely Earth. Oh ho ho! Hey hey hey! You gotta take you gotta you gotta take a tenth man. What's this brave soul? Okay. Who's that? Yeah, so tell us where. Could you share it with us? Yeah, well, I've, uh, I've seen it on TV. Oh, it's on the telly. I've seen Narnia on TV. I've seen Godzilla on TV. No, 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 no. I've seen I'm Bugs Bunny on TV. And on the internet, I've, I've seen it on... Oh, it's amazing. Have you seen it personally yourself? Yeah, personally, myself. I was actually looking at the telly at the time. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Very nice. Was that a flat screen you were looking at or one of the old oval tubes? No, it was a, a fancy projector. Uh, you know, ah. you've got to project the image. Okay. Oh, it was right. It was it's, supposed yeah, to be, curved screen, it's supposed to be yeah. quick and concise. Housekeeping. Housekeeping. So, no. Seeing it on the telly. Sorry, I'm not even going to dissect this. Right, moving on. I'm reliant on you, the panel, to ask these questions so that you guys get dragged into debate rather than me. Arwin, maybe? What? Any signs of axial rotation? Perfect. Thank you, Chocolate. Yeah, I've seen actual rotation on my car, but not of the Earth space variety. Which axis? Uh, he's already disclaimed it. Right, moving on. Unless anybody else in Discord's got any evidence of axial rotation of the Earth based variety. No, over to you, Arwin. Mm. Sorry, I'm kind of launching. <laughs> Uh, Paul, chocolate, tenth man. Any scientific evidence for gravity? Absolutely not. Discord any evidence? Anything but that. Go ahead, Paul. I'll say any evidence of gas pressure without a container. Nah, a container is the necessary antecedent to have gas pressure. Moving on. Any evidence of a self-perpetuating molten iron core at the center of a presupposed spherical Earth? Boom! Get in. Anybody? I'm always excited for this one. Nah. They might have improved drill bits. You never know, Arwin. You never know. <laughs> oh, we got one, one more. Sun. Who's going to ask the sun question? I'll do it. Two more. two more. Any two evidence, more. any confirmed measured distance to the sun? Any evidence of that? 
No, sorry. No. One more Any question. signs of R? Earth radius, R. anybody in Discord, hopefully? There is a link if the public want to join and answer any of these questions with their evidence of the R value or anything else for that matter. Hello. Oh, wait, it... I have one. Oh, hold on, there's a new guest. Hello, Ping. Can you hear us? Yeah, I can hear you. Any evidence? How are you? Of... Very well. Any evidence of Earth radius by any chance? I may have some Definitely R evidence. Not. No. Arwen, go ahead. That's the end of housekeeping anyway, but yeah, go ahead. So, yeah. All the heavenly bodies we perceive all have radiuses, do they not? Radio. So who are we to be the only exception? Come on, anybody with the billiard ball table? No? Anybody at all? <laughs> if okay. everything oh, outside has a show. radius, why would we not? Okay, well, if, I'm, if, if no one's going to leave it out in there, right? So if I'm walking through the forest, Arwen, and I see trees all around me, does that make me a tree? Based on what? That, make, that makes you a tree, Nathan. Right, based on if I walk around and see stars all around me, does that make me a star or a point of light? Or a sphere? You're a star in my eyes. Isn't, isn't the circle of you literally a limitation of you based on the circle? You're fighting your own argument Again? here, Arwen. You're fighting your own argument. I know. Argument. I know. I'd say yes, you are a star. Otherwise, you're claiming special pleading. That's a fallacy. Look, let's get it right. straight. I'm a very special snowflake. Uh, Neil deGrasse Tyson said your stardust, or no, no, is that uh, Lawrence Krauss said your stardust? One of those two said it, so you could be stardust. Well, now, but the question is not even of a physical nature. It's basically a geometrical deducible concept, a radius. So I propose, very sneakily, that because everything we see above us has a radius, that why would we not have, why would the Earth not have a radius? Our field of view has a radius, pretty much. So that's my train of thought on that. Yeah, and I'm walking through the forest, and everything around me has got leaves. So I can safely deduce that every hair on my body is actually a leaf. Why wouldn't you? I look around and there's leaves. Therefore, I'm leafy. You sound like le you're leafy. I'm not <laughs> leafy and I'm not a bloody tree, okay? I'm a very special snowflake. Oh, so now you're a water crystal. Bet your ass I am. Okay. He's got his own design. Cool. <clears throat> All right, so... No one on Discord, no one on anything. I don't know. I thought that my train of reasoning was just as well as the Glober's average train of thought on it. The same as the average Glober's train of thought on it, that's why. <laughs> no. Yes. Not the same. They put in much more presuppositional claims in between all that. I'm just going with, look, comparing the shapes. Everything out there is like a circle. Don't know whether it's a disc or flat or a ball, but it has a circle for some reason optically. So yeah, that has Darwin. a radius. Our field of view has a radius. Darwin. We just don't know if the Earth has some kind of radius. Darwin, what are you eating? Uh, an egg. It and... has a radius. Oh yes, uh, and. Let's see, do you look like the egg? Did the plate you lifted off look like a ball or was it a flat plate? It had a radius. My plate has a radius. Is it a ball? No. Okay. I'm not claiming it is a ball. I'm just being pedantic about a radius, a geometrical well, uh, aspect. 
a flat surface will also have distances, will it not? Yeah. Okay. There's your disc. Doesn't maybe have to be a ball. Could maybe. Be a disc. What do you mean maybe? It could be a disc with a distance. It could be a ball with a radius. What's the difference? Well, a ball requires actual curvature, which ah. would be optically, yeah, straightforward there. So if a lighthouse is seen from 40 miles at 1,066 feet of curvature hiding it, then are we on the disc or are we on the ball? I don't know. We're not on the ball. The radius I was referring to was not specifically a radius of a ball. Answer the question. If a lighthouse is 40 miles away and we live on a ball with eight inches per mile square radius math, basically, there should be 1,066 feet of curve blocking that light. That Where depends on the viewer height. From a boat in the ocean. Okay. Why do they have lighthouses on coastlines with jagged rocks? Why do they put them there in the first place? Because they exceed the limited viewing angle and allows much further distance to be no. seen. Why no. Do they put lighthouses, why do they put lighthouses on the coastlines in treacherous waters? Give you a better view of the sirens. <laughs> they put it about as much sense as the globe. They put it there, it's axiomatic. They put it there because they're meant to be seen. That's just what I said. Okay, so then if we're on the ball, you can't see it. I wasn't suggesting that we would be. I'm so glad. Unless it's a Jupiter-sized ball. <laughs> He's, he's just messing with you. He's Drop. just messing with us, right? He's just doing it to look. Don't take the bait. Nah, he's eating too. It's... Boing, boing, boing. I'm I'm using this ball here and boing, boing, boing. I'm dribbling on your face. So where are the globe tards? Where are the globe proponents? Where are these people? They've all they... deflated. We are live. There's a link in the info box. There's three gaps on the panel, I believe. But they're, they're all deflated. You've seen it. They come on, they're either getting tired, out of breath, or they're just deflated on arrival and have nothing to say. Maybe maybe they need a, a, a proper invitation. I'd like to give them one. You mean now, hunt you... them down and drag them in with a net? <laughs> Force them to no. invite us? No, not, I think that's not. probably where we need to go eventually because nobody's <laughs> the ballers just know there's no way out. To them, it's really like being thrown in the arena with a bunch of lines. No, no, no. I I want to approach it logically for them. We're yeah. we're being we're being told something, and we on this side want to challenge those statements that we're being told. We go to someone else who's in the human race who says, well, wait a minute, you believe the earth is flat? Don't you know all the institutions teach it's a ball and it's rotating and blah, blah, blah? I say, yeah, that's exactly what I want to challenge. Let's look at their proof and see if it's true. If it's true, I'll believe it's a ball too. You want to look at the proof or the lack thereof? So come on, ballers, bring the proofs. We'll all become ballers. Nah. Nothing. Hey, happened. I don't mind being a baller if it's the truth. Just bring it. Yeah, nothing happened. Nobody arrived in Discord after your speech. Told you. A four. Are you there? Me. My he. How's it going? Pretty good. Who's this? Righteous. Hi, good night. Can you hear me? Yeah. You uh, had something to say earlier? 
I was just trying to tell Nathan. I thought he was a star. Superstar. Oh, thank you. (laughs) (laughs) It's always surprised me that uh, Flat Earth hasn't come like more predominant, like quickly and more quickly or in the past. It's like, how did the lie get so big, so fast and not be like there was no rebellion against it? It's amazing. I think it was more to do with, like, if I was to speculate why the lie. It's preoccupation. They, they were too preoccupied oh, I, I, to respond to I, it. I, Jesus, the guy hardly ever speaks. The moment he says the, the reason I think, you immediately give your reason, Arwin. Come on, mm-hmm. be fair. <laughs> yeah, the reason I think that what it's, I do. That it's I want to eat. Is the, the heliocentric imagination Star Wars type of drill. So. People like to imagine that it is like Star Wars and there's aliens and the rest of it and we're hurling through space and something spectacular is going to happen and asteroids are going to come down and pelt us or whatnot. I think it's more to do with like people just holding on to some type of an imagination and the heliocentric model appeals to that a little bit more than a flat earth. Yeah, I totally agree. The heliocentric yeah, world that's... is fantastical. It's amazing. Yeah, it's, it. it's like a big fairy tale. You can sort of put anything in it. It's Narnia. That's it's exactly times better the conditioning better. they want. It's miles better than Narnia. Narnia's crap by comparison to the, the fantasy of space. You know, I, I, it's one of the few things that, you know, when I actually came to this subject and realised that I had to kiss all that goodbye, I was a little bit gutted. You know, it's like, shit, that was cool. It's rockets and space and infinite expanding universes and the vacuums and just cool. I thought the whole thing was really cool. I, you know, I used to be subscribed to science at NASA and listen to all of their newest bullshit. But, you know, slightly heartbreaking because it is cool. I'm not going to lie. I still think it's cool. Globehead, get out. N- no. That's because you're Romulan. What? Romulan? You're Romulan. Hmm. Exactly. Okay. The alien species alone. Just gives you, <laughs> it just gives you... Well, it's just cool, isn't it? I you might can have all be. sorts. You can have all sorts of crazy stuff. You know, whereas if, 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 for the sake of argument, let's pretend a different fantasy is the infinitely expanding plane and you went out to a new continent, you might find people that were a bit more, I don't know, orangey colour. <laughs> But that's it. That that would probably be the most variation you'd see. You'd just come across another load of humans and we're like, yeah, we've been here for ages. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, why not? And they may even know about us, but there's just a deal like, yeah, there's a Truman Show setting. Nobody in this realm is supposed to know about everything surrounding it. It's out of your jurisdiction. That's one possibility. When you- when you say the Truman Show setting, does that mean that there's somebody watching us or there? Well, I would be. You hey, know. Nathan, but the, the character, hold on, just hold on. The character is Christus in Truman Show. The guy watching over is Christus, Christ. Mm-hmm. Ooh. You might have a point, Nathan, about the orange people. I'm, I'm reading an article about the Asian orange chicken recipe. That, that's something just slightly different. Well, oh, oh, there was the white frolicky people. Maybe there's more of them out there. Remember? Well, all I'm saying is that there might just be a different color variant or, you know, different pigmentation is all I'm saying. Or they'll have different, you know, subtle differences, but they'll just be, they'll just be people. In the same way no, as a no. Chinaman doesn't look like me in many different ways, but overall he basically is the same. No, uh, black, Nathan, uh, well, they're yeah. elves. They're not the same as humans. <laughs> they're elves. <laughs> <laughs> Bizarro local lass. <laughs> okay, well, whatever. Like, a black man, me and chocolate are fundamentally different on many different levels. However, we are basically the same.
Yes, sir, my brother. My point being yeah. that if if nobody had ever seen a black man, and then you travel out on the uh, the fantasy idea of an infinitely expanding plane, in the same way they have a fantasy idea of an infinitely expanding universe, all you'd probably get in terms of your logical imagination and where it would extend to is just a different colour person. You know, if you'd already experienced, I don't know, people in eastern europe for the sake of argument having a darker shade of olive skin and then you go to people out in africa and go oh wow there's people that are black well that's not going to be such a wide variant as romulant right right (laughs) or or, or maybe somewhere way way out there there's like fish gill people on which many of the (laughs) mythologies are based of the ocean dwellers maybe they're still out there somewhere I'd be uh, curious to see. Well, I'm the actual Aquaman, so I could tell you that's not true. Shout out to. I'll read that. Un Taco Vemu. Man, I'm sorry if I've butchered your name. I'm really appreciative for the super chat, though. My proof of flat Earth is real. Live video from ISS or whatever is flying up. If you flying, if flying, or better. Globe pilot scientist make video of curvature. Oh, okay, that made perfect sense. Thank you very much for the super chat. <laughs> Nathan, uh, ballbusters this weekend. Indeed. Topic: eight, eight p.m. UK time, two p.m. Central. Uh, I don't know the topic. All right. Well, it's been a fun week. I've got to get to my Aquaman duties. I think right, it might be man. chocolate. I think Happy we, birthday I think chocolate. It might be Big Thank Bang you, again. I think we're, we're readdressing Big Bang. Can't remember. I, I've got it written down somewhere. This is a terrible plug. That said, this, this, this is only going out to the live show plug-wise because this show goes out to the main audience on Saturday after Ballbusters. So, Ballbusters was great, wasn't it? Yay! That was awesome. I didn't see it. (laughs) 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 I think I was watching Netflix or something. Oh, right. You were getting your dose, dose of programming, were you? Well, I, I need to understand what people are programmed with, you know? Do you? And besides, there's some really good sci-fi out there, despite the programming. You not have enough of it for the first 140 years of your life. Well, it wasn't out there back then. The ideas were there, you know? People did sketches, but to actually see it animated on a, yeah, a video screen... That wasn't that this is for the first time in history, like the last 50 years that that actually exists in that form. I know there's like there's been like scrying other effects, but nothing like an actual fixed screen with data. Anyway, like how you just rolled with me, implying that you had eternal, an eternal soul. <laughs> just rolled with it, right? What are you talking about? Nothing, nothing, are we? Okay. Right, should we rattle some cages in Discord again? What do you in here? Coffee Dweller's come back in. Did you want to say hello, Coffee Dweller? Coffee drinker, rather. <laughs> my screen is a long way away, that's my excuse. Nope, let's move you to... Oh, Alright, it's because he's on mute. That didn't help, though. Says he has no mic. Well then, what are you doing here? <laughs> Back when you've got a mic. Who doesn't have a mic in 2019? I don't understand that. Every single phone comes with a mic. Every headset, almost damn near. Like, who doesn't have a mic? I don't get that. <laughs> it's not just who doesn't have a mic. That's perfectly acceptable. Who doesn't have a mic and joins a live stream? <laughs> Where you need a mic, right? Well, maybe somebody that just entered it in or, uh, like trying to record it, maybe for metadata analysis. I like how you go straight to conspiratard mode. 
What? Somebody compiling the data. Art. That shit happens. Oh, God. You, you're in it one of those really moods, Arwen. And, no, but look, AI is definitely metadata mining in all kinds of ways because it's really easy to do. That's why. And you don't really know even what they're doing with it. Although you can be sure that it will be something on the long run. Right, there's a whole pe bunch of people in chat. There's got to be somebody with some evidence of the ball. Yeah, it's on our Discord panel. Link is in the info box. Have you guys seen those uh, Ron Burgundy, mm -hmm. like high altitude footage? Nope. Tell me more. Oh, that was very informative. Thank you very much. <laughs> hmm. Well, the Globers in the Discord, they like posted this GIF that uses his footage and they paste a, a line through the center showing, oh, the horizon is not at the center. So if we stop it at the center, then we got a curve. Do you guys know the trick to that? Like, I know it, but... Yeah, go ahead, tell us. I think it'd be better if I show it to you guys. Well, I'll put the GIF up. Or no. You want the, I'll, I'll give the I, GIF to the, uh, to the live stream audience so they can see what you're talking about. I tried to find the GIF, but uh, I only know the YouTube channel now. Okay, so the audience can see it. So you tell me what's the trick. Well, you already exposed it yesterday by saying apparent horizon. But like another trick is to why it's apparent. It's because we can't see the true horizon because we can't see forever or far enough to see where it would appear higher, right? True horizon, you say? What is a true <laughs> horizon? Well, closer to the true horizon. There's never a true horizon because the way our eyes work. But you oh, know how horizon. guys like Wolfie will claim there's like a drop in uh, the horizon mm -hmm. when you go higher? That only happens because we can't see far enough. Well, yeah, you're saying the vanishing point is closer given whatever circumstances, but it's the it's an apparent position where the sky meets the ground, as you've already highlighted. So it's not the reified edge of their sphere. So if you're ever in one of these arguments with a globe head, just ask them what the horizon is. Well, they've got two choices. One is the apparent position where the sky meets the ground not actual, or it's the reified edge of their fundy belief in Earth curve. In other words, they've already decided Earth's a sphere with an edge that they're seeing that we call the horizon. Yep. But they keep repeating this stuff. Like, you keep telling them, then they come back later like you forgot, or you're a newbie. So they keep using the same tricks. All right. Yeah, we have a term for it. It's called rinse and repeat. That's why they rumpus. So when you get to the conclusion, the devastating conclusion will always get talked over by a globe head. And it's because they know full <coughs> they know full well that the following day they're going to repeat the same argument. So it's best if the uh undoing of the argument isn't heard necessarily well by everybody so they can just rinse and repeat it the following day yeah that's right tactical indoctrination it's baffled me that like most of the globies that come onto your show Nathan they can't let go of the globe at all like the rumpuses and the Mark Taylors and the rest of them that are regulars they can't let go of the globe at all. No, he was in the it's chat on the last pride. show. Exactly, he was on the chat in the chat on the last show saying, with with his opening statement, the Earth is a sphere. 
which is normally the reaction you get to the end of an argument. You must beg the question. But yeah, I think pr primarily A4, this show isn't for them. They're a conduit to the viewer who hears their zealotry and um, being battered and then rinsing, repeating. And that does have a very damning effect on viewers, people watching. You know, most people aren't stupid and see what they're doing from a normal point of view because they're not zealots. Most normal people don't really care that much. So when they hear people being zealots, they go, whoa. What the hell? And this is about the Earth being a sphere? Unreal. You know, and then they hear the argument picked apart and the rumpusing ensuing and then it re rinsed and repeated. And like I say, that's going to have an effect on your average normie who doesn't, is not so invested in sphere Earth that they're going to defend it in the way the people who come here do. Yep. I, I could even argue that, for example, Owen Manjiman probably is now moving more into the direction of flat earth purely because of his observation of how globers can get because i i definitely think that he has been paying attention to some serious debate platforms probably even the flat earth debates and he's just really taking notice like wow these guys you know it's not even a matter if whether it is a globe or a flat just the ways these guys conduct themselves is so insane you're almost forced to side with the flat earthers just because of the behavior. I, I, at first, when I first started watching it, I've been watching Owen Benjamin, Benjamin for a little while now. And at first, I kind of thought the same. Oh, he must be watching the show because of the, the way he formulated some of the arguments. But as I've watched yeah. him more and more, his dad used to be, as he phrased it, um, a purveyor of rhetoric. So when he said that, I was like, ah, nah, he's not watching the show. He just understands how the arguments are fallacious. He understands rhetoric and if you understand rhetoric you can pull apart these arguments so it's not necessarily that he's watching these shows he just understands the undoing of the argument and when people put a fallacious argument to someone like that they'll understand it's undoing and that makes sense right it doesn't need to be watching this particular show it, well, although I'm, if you are shout out to home benjamin <laughs> right i'm not saying that he's watching it content continually i'm just saying that he's probably has watched it and followed it at least for a bit just to see what's going on he has mentioned your name i think even one time so and of course he's uh like uh communicating with david wise and david wise regularly uh, uh puts videos on his channel uh, from owen benjamin and so yeah it's moving it's he's gradually slowly moving a little bit in our direction you could say. And it's good. He had a great video yesterday where he did a very elaborate speech, basically, about it. And he, had, he made a lot of good points, and he reflected a lot of even housekeeping-level arguments. So if you haven't seen it already, people out there, I definitely recommend you go watch Owen Benjamin's latest stream. It was very good and funny. Stick a link in now and I'll put it in the live chat. Okay. Uh, let's see. Mm -hmm. oh, this notification system is terrible. I've heard Spurs King how he should like come across to the newbies when they come in and how he should try and tell them about Flat Earth and like I can understand your argument against him, Nathan. And I'd suggest that like if Spurs Chemo is listening, you try and use something like Occam's razor. You know, explain mm. to them how Occam's razor works, explain to them what it is, and then go from there because everybody that I've talked to about flat earth and the globe earth being a lie, uh, I use Occam's razor and I explain to them what it is. And they use it like on everything after that. After I speak to them, give it a month, and they're using Occam's razor to figure out and discern things from the media themselves and other lies. So 
I'd start from there, just teaching them how to use simple tools that will help them along the way to spot lies and discern the bullshit. Oh, sorry about the swear word. Mm. Oh, by the way, Nathan, I can't really link through uh, his video because for some reason he takes them down. Oh, really? Like, uh, oh, yeah, good. after 24 hours, he even says it. So he still has like clips that he wanted to share. But not the entire live stream. Well, he doesn't. Yeah, he doesn't do that anymore. Well, I got down. a screenshot of that high altitude balloon. If you guys want to see it, where should I post it? Discord or yeah, post it in live stream. YouTube. I'll just give it you Discord the link to his channel. Okay, I mean, DITRH had a, a short ten minute video that he posted too of uh, Owen Benjamin going through some stuff. So if you want to go to DITRH's. YouTube channel, you might be able to find something from Owen there. It's in Master B. Somebody put it in Master B earlier. Yeah. Problem these days is racialism and slaverism. You gotta watch that latest video, it's amazing. Did you say racism? <laughs> What? Yeah, <laughs> it's, 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 it's hilarious. <laughs> now, he, he, the politically correct college, and he's just putting another sketch there. You gotta watch it; it's amazing. Yeah, the problem these days: is racialism and slaverism. <clears throat> Any sign I just, of Brian I just like the parts. No, oh, no sign of Peckerwood, unfortunately. No sign of him, eh? Huh. What about the professor we've been waiting on, Stephanie? Was it Stephanie Thomason? No, no, <laughs> no didn't. word from Stephanie either. I'm afraid. Yeah, she didn't show up. So I say this when these links, when these videos are going out, and when I'm, and I'm in the chat, I say to the audience, look, just spam this where they'll see it, so that they can actually respond to it. So I bet, uh, you know, I've got no suggestions, helpful suggestions of where they would spam it for them to see it. But nevertheless, the audience tends to know best with these things. So do so. If you're watching this and there's a particular person that's being called out, be sure to spam the link to that person and highlight to them. Now we have Profess Navy Seals. Miss, Mr. Schrodinger's cat. You, sir, are a complete dumb fuck. Somebody told me yesterday that, that you didn't say it, but somebody else said you were a Navy SEAL. Um, I, We're going to need some more information on that. <laughs> I think. If you're a fucking Navy SEAL, my cat is Ernest Borgnine. You well, freaking clown. Literally. If I catch you... If I freaking catch you lying with something like I'm gonna, it, I'm gonna do something. I'm just gonna expose your dumb ass, right? And just let nature take its course. Hey John, right? maybe they, he meant it literally. Maybe he was a seal as a pet in the navy. <laughs> no. Yeah, right. Maybe well, he's a furry. He, maybe he's a furry. Shout out to exactly. Agent Dubsky, who says, until textbooks tell the truth, you're a legend. Thanks for the super chat, Agent Dubsky. I think that was actually aimed at you, John, as it went up as you were talking. Yeah, what is that called? Stealing valor? Or is that just it? Yeah, stolen valor. I think that's hey, can I interject with the, uh, the thing that made me laugh? Till I cried yesterday. I heard a uh, toe tag file name Dean saying how space time was actually proven and can be measured with nuclear forces. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I forgot about that. Wow. Wow, indeed. Dean. Yeah, this is what's scary. The scary part, not that these guys believe in a spinning ball space monkey religion that's not the scary part the scary part is that they think 
that when they talk about it, that they're some type of intellectuals. That is really scary. I'm telling you, the stupidity from 2015 till now that I've witnessed, we're going way off the reservation on complete absurdity. These people need to be institutionalized. I mean, it's scary. I, I don't know what you've seen, but it's scaring the daylights out of me. But that's in all directions. Yeah, the, the absoluteness. It's so nuts to go beyond norm normality. The, the certainty that he had when he made that statement, like, it just, uh, I didn't know how to think. <laughs> it was just like, wait, did he just say space time has been proven? And, oh, my God. <laughs> who, are we who are we talking about here? Dean. Uh, Toe Tag Dean. Yes, that's why I call him Toe Tag File Name Dean. <laughs> yeah, what a key. He's a crayon. My, these arguments. Uh, I, any new arguments out there besides that ridiculous? Uh, Not an argument. Deanology. Yeah, there was Righteous Force was trying to explain the argument that they've got a GIF going on with the. Uh, High altitude balloon footage apparently published by Ron Burgundy. You there, Righteous Force? He's not. Oh, yeah. He's... Wait, you want, to, you want me to talk about it again? Well, John just asked if there was any new arguments, and yeah, it's an old spin on, it's a new spin on an old argument, but feel free to just detail that argument if you wouldn't mind. Well, show that picture that I posted. That way I can explain it easier. Okay, I'll see if I can dig it back out from Discord for the audience. So in Discord, QE, there's a GIF of, uh, how could I describe it? A horizon spinning it's around. It's there right. again. Oh, it's at the bottom. Right. You're talking about the horizon spinning? Didn't we do this the other day with, um, uh, I can't recall his name. Yeah, but I gave it like a more explanation to it. Yeah, and what's what's the argument? Or is this the argument right here, just a picture? Well, because we can't see the true apparent horizon because it would be too far. So they use like, because we can't see that far, we don't see it as being higher as it should be. So they use that trick to lower the center and say, oh, look, we see a curve. But it's not lined up perfectly because the center should be a bit higher, the true apparent horizon. And if you go a bit higher, then it would be flat. So that's the trick. So this is from Dwayne Kellum? Uh, his uh, high altitude footage, but it's on uh, Ron Burgundy's channel called Globe Ron Agent Ron Burgundy. Burgundy. Uh, be careful when you say true apparent horizon. That's a contradiction. Right? Okay. Just, just, just note that. Just be careful when you're saying stuff like that. I, I, I'm still waiting to see the argument. Or is there saying that this is curve? Yes, because uh, it's still distorted. But they're saying, no, we lined up the lens to the center with the horizon. So, therefore, this has to be not distorted, therefore curve. Sorry to interrupt. Shout out to Julio Pabon says, a famous phrase to think about, the sky is the limit. Thank you very much for the super chat. Julio Pabon, really appreciate your support. And this one's clever because they even say it's infrared because with infrared we can see a bit farther, right? So that would trick people too. But even with infrared, you can't see far enough. Yeah, there's always going to be a vanishing point. Yeah, yep, and the and vanishing so point it, is higher. And there's always going to be barrel distortion. So uh, until they can rectify that, then uh, they're just wasting our time. Cool. Any other, any other arguments to go with this picture of the apparent position where the sky meets the ground?
I'll take that as a no. What? I'll take that as a no. What? As a no. I said, is there any further arguments for this? This apparent oh, sorry, position? Sorry, my bad. Um, yeah. I don't think so. It's we were just, accused of um, heard... asking re unreasonable questions, QE. So Dawn Treader said that the housekeeping questions were pointless because they had no answer or were trick questions. So the example we put to him was any evidence of earth curve. I think it's absolutely ridiculous to assert that asking for actual evidence of curve when, you cl when your fundy claim is that you're on a sphere is just totally <laughs> unreasonable. Oh, the other argument that came up was that the reason that planes that are nosing up as they fly around the curve don't need to experience drop is because flying up takes into account the curve. That was Dawn's argument. Um, that's, a question if you know it's not there. That's kind of retarded. I, I don't know. This is what I'm talking about. It's getting stupider and stupider as we go on. That shouldn't surprise us because you, they get backed into a corner. And that is just absurd lunacy. What? So it's a level curve? Is that what they're saying? That the planes fly level around the curve? Basically, yeah. Right? No matter what, I don't care if you do barrel rolls, loop-de-loops, tummersaults, I don't care what it is. You have to negotiate the drop. They, I think they forget about that they actually, their religion is based on vertical drop. Also, I've been, I've been seeing this a lot lately, and I know you guys have too. Um... The elevation, they think that we're confusing elevation with drop. Is that what it is? Something like that? We don't understand elevation. That's what it is. Yeah, that's that's Rumpus. That was Rumpus's argument from the chat. So he starts off by demanding that we beg the question. So he says, We are on a sphere. You just don't understand the difference between elevation and drop. Right, that's the new go-to now, right? We don't understand. Yeah, once yes, they get the Ballers in Discord said the same thing yesterday. So did, okay, so we don't understand. Did they explain it? No. I didn't get into it. Um, we're did still waiting for them to explain it. Like, they always ask us for our model. My, my well, favorite, where's your model? My favorite one in the comments is when they reference sea level. And actually put that in. Sea level. Don't you understand how it works on a globe? And I go, sea level, you say? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Or, or we got Red's famous tilted shelf, right? Looking at the whole shelf. Now, is that level? Uh, no, the shelf's not level. But the surface is still smooth. You know, like, they put it at an angle. Is this level? Uh, no, Crayon Muncher, it's not level. <laughs> was it straight, though? <laughs> hey, Righteous, was it? Righteous Force just posted a meme that I made about a year and a half, maybe two years ago. Did he? Yeah. So there's, oh, uh, that was you? Yeah, I made that. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. Hey, so how's the car running, brother? I don't really know. Um, my wife got it insured today, so I, I didn't drive it back. I've, all I've done so far is polish it. Um, but it's now insured. But then, then it was 2 o'clock and I had to do the show. So I think that'll probably be one of the first things I do once the show's over. I'll actually drive it. Oh, you mean after the four more hours? <laughs> after the after show, yeah. Yeah, I, my Jeep broke down on me this morning. Jeep? Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. Not the pre, pre, pristine Honda, you know, that we were talking about yesterday. That you didn't show, right? Had the whole friggin' argument on here. And you didn't even show it. You straw man me. Yeah, but if I'm not going to show my boring car, why would I show yours? 
<laughs> that because mine's not boring. Oi! <laughs> I always wanted to do that, by the way. I mean, I could oh, do that. It, it might, it might be, might get me clickbait, might earn more revenue than the debates that I do. You know, I bought the cheapest Lexus IS250 in the UK, something to that effect, which I'm pretty sure I did. Did, did somebody tell you that the steering wheel's on the wrong side? Uh, da. They're not on the wrong side. On the wrong. Definitely on the wrong side. You guys have the steering wheel on the wrong side. How the heck can you drive with the steering wheel over it? What do you guys think? You're all James Bond or something? It's, no, it's the right way around here. They're just logistical lefties. That's all. Japanese, they they know what they're doing with the steering wheel placement. We know what we're doing. Everyone else is just nuts. India, India too, right? Is India the same? Or India right and drive? Thought so. But they. So is Jamaica. Jamaica's the same way. Ah, cool. I don't know for sure though, but I thought it's I just saw so that. weird to me. <laughs> I don't know why it's just weird. Right, we're way off the beaten track to round out this live show in a couple of minutes. Don't How many down. minutes we got? For the live show, we've got about five minutes, then I'll be asking everyone on Nathan Oakley 1980 to stay tuned. <laughs> Looks like it was a little slow today. I don't see too many people in Discord. What's up? Well, there, were, there was plenty of people, but no one was talking, so I just booted them to the after show to keep gaps for people who might want to come in and actually challenge what we said. So no ballers are coming in to challenge what we said over the past three years? Come on, here's your chance. All you, can do, all you guys do is talk smack. Come on in. It says the Discord link okay. doesn't work. I'll put a new one out if that's the case. Holly's way. I did make a new one. Those ballers sure talk a big game. Of course, their mouth is right and checks their ass can't catch as usual, right? Hello, tell them, tell them to, spinning Tell them to come monkeys. in and feel their pain. Tell them the Hello, water's warm. Maybe that'll work. spinning space monkeys. We're waiting for you. Check it out. Retro Bill says, go fund me for QE's Jeep repair. Yeah, it checks in the post, QE. Yeah. And ballers have a collective IQ of above one. I, I don't know. I'm telling you, Nathan, over the past few days, I've heard some, some stupid arguments, boy. Just stupid. From I, I, it's hard to believe these people are even adults, right? I, I don't get it, man. I just don't get it. If they don't think people are laughing at them, I mean, just fog a mirror. People are laughing at them. These people are so delusional. Uh, I, I've never witnessed anything like this in my entire life. Okay, just a bit, a, bit, a, bit, a quick bit of admin. So if you're watching live right now, refresh the page and there's a brand new Discord link. It was a fresh link this morning. I generated a new one and everything, so it should have worked, but apparently someone in the chat said it didn't, so worth the risk. There's a new one there. Refresh your page, and then if you want to join, there is plenty of space in Discord currently. Link in the info box below this video. We also got people saying that they're in the military, right? Talking about bullets suffer from Coriolis effect. I mean, I don't know whether they're stupid frauds. I don't know what their mental capacity is. But let me tell you something. Like I said before, I'm retired military. Half of my career I spent in combat arms, in recon. I am expert infantryman. I train the snipers lived down the hall from me for five years, along with the toes and four deuce mortars. 
right? We cross train with the snipers constantly. The Coriolis effect not only is never actualized, it was never brought up. Not once. Right? So all these military people, I'll tell you what, you better not let me catch you. Because it's going to get worse than medieval. On you've done, asses. you've put all these snipers out there and they don't know how to deal with the Coriolis effect. It's going to be a disaster. <laughs> is, is, did you hear that, John? I, I didn't catch all of it. Say it one more time. He's saying you've put all these snipers out there. They don't know how to cope with Coriolis. What have you done? Oh, we'll put blind snipers out there. Where where's where's the virus at? He was in a second ago. Maybe he's just jumped back out again. You know what was really hilarious? A couple years ago, uh, Flat Earth Math was on a hangout, right? I can't remember. I think I got it saved somewhere. And he was talking because Flat Earth Math has said he, he was uh, in the Marines and the Reserves. And he was on a hangout with somebody, but somebody had an ace in the hole. They had a range control officer in the background and didn't tell uh, Flat Earth Math. And what happened, Cor he started coming on talking about the Coriolis effect with, with weapons. And then whoever was hosting the show brought on this range control officer. What these range control officers do, right? They're in charge of uh, like the entire range on a post. And they oversee, you know, mortars, howitzers, you know, any, everything from 5.56, five, you know, just M16 fire, small arms fire, and uh, all the way through howitzers. And you always get, what, what shall we say, especially when I was in back in the day, some rounds would like, how would we say, get away from them. <laughs> and what they would have to do, range control, would have to figure out where these rounds went. Because most of the posts are around uh, communities, civilian communities, and they would go off post sometimes, I'm telling you. But anyway, what they do is they have to figure out where these rounds went and go find them, right? So he had this range control officer on, and this range control officer said, let me tell you something. We don't use Coriolis effect for anything, right? And you could see Flat Earth's face, it just dropped, right? And I think he right after that he dropped the Coriolis effect argument. It was classic, man. I gotta find it. That's it. I mean, if this was a thing, where where is the absolute video of somebody taking some type of insane shot and adjusting for Coriolis? Where, where is that? Why why is that not happened yet? Well, because they don't. Right. You might get people <laughs> talking about it. Oh, and another thing. These what they do is they appeal to field manuals, right? Let me tell you something about field manuals. I spent 21 years in the military. I opened the field manual twice. One for the E5 board. And once for the E6 board, let me tell you something. They could put Jimmy Hoffa's burial place in about 30,000 locations in each one of those FMs, and he'd still be safe. And anybody that's ever been on active duty knows exactly what I'm talking about. So I don't care what's printed on their pages, right? You need to demonstrate it. See, that's where the rubber meets the road. Demonstrate your claims. Not your citations. I know how they Those can citations that. need to be demonstrated. Or else they're just a baseless assertion fallacy. I don't care who they come from. Get your case. heads out of I know your ass. You better not pull that hold stuff on, with on. me. I'm going to get Kiwi. medieval on your ass. Hold on, Kiwi. We've got a new guest and Righteous Force is trying to get a word in. Go ahead, Righteous Force. I know how they can demonstrate the, the Coriolis with shooting. They can shoot around the corner like in the movie Wanted. If they can do that, <laughs> then sure, I'll accept it. 
No, but she spins exactly. around and she moves very fast. So, yeah. yeah. People aren't. That, that would be. That would be how bullets would work too, right? Yeah, but if you could to... shoot in any direction, and then the earth was spinning, bullets would just fly around corners. And have you, have you seen <laughs> Wanted, Kiwi? Have you seen Wanted the movie? I haven't. No. The idea is it's Angelina Jolie, and she's basically postulating that she can fire a bullet around a corner by basically. Who's typing? Oh, sorry, that's me. Pop yourself on mute if you're not talking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, she spins around at a rate and then fires the bullet, and that apparently gives it a spin, like a footballer kicking a, a soccer ball and giving it a spin. She's claiming to do that in the movie with bullets. Like a, like a pool shot, like spinning the cue around. Basically, yes. Yeah, basically. Like, like, kind of like throwing the hey bullets guys, sorry for in the, the direction. Can you guys hear me? So she's put, yeah, we can hear you. So putting putting spin on the bullet by her physically spinning and then firing the bullet. Total, what's the word? Um, bollocks, that's the word. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and wouldn't you... Isn't it surprising you you don't hear a bunch of military people come out and talking about this, right? That's kind of shocking that they don't. You know why? Hold on, because for some reason. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. For some reason, somebody's deciding to walk on gravel with their mic wide open while you say this. I don't know who. I don't know why. Really? If you're not talking, just pop yourselves on mute. Is it somebody in Discord? I don't know. It's too late in the day to know. I, I, I've still got to say hello to a new guest. We've got a Rari. Hello, Rari. Hello. Very good to have you. How's it going? Very well, thank you. So, Kiwi, is that your name? Right. Who was just speaking? I didn't hear you say it, say it again. What was your name? My name's John. What was your name? John. I want to address you. John. It's John. John. It's John. Oh, okay. <laughs> sorry. You cut out for a second for me. So, oh, John, you think yeah. the, the earth's John's flat, John's right? Fine. Go ahead. <laughs> you think the earth's flat, right? No, I don't That's think it belief. is. I know it is. You know it is, right? But yeah. if you know it is, then surely everyone should believe that, right? You, you as a fat earth believer want everyone to think the same thing. No, I don't. I want them to find out for themselves. But if every, so you want everyone to find that truth out for themselves. Yes, I facilitate that. Yeah. Yeah. And you're facilitating it. So really you want everyone to understand the earth's flat. Yeah. I want. I want everyone to understand the earth is flat. No, I want them exactly. to find out for themselves that the earth is flat. Exactly. And, and in fact, it's not, that, only, um, it's not only you were flat. Just arguing that, Hold on a second. You were it's just not arguing. only, it's you, not you only go, go, flat. Go, go, go. Oh my God. Okay, let me shut you up. It's not only flat, it's non spinning and domed and geocentric. How about that? Domed? Uh, Right. How does anything spin then? How does explain anything the spin? Of a bullet. spin? Yeah. If you can't explain a basic fact about our world, the Earth spins. It's just true. We learn it through scientific the scientific method, right? Oh, you do. In the same way, yeah. Really through doubting natural phenomena. We learn it through... <laughs> Okay. Okay. Right. The Earth's flat. What's at the edge? Hold on. No, wait a second. I'll, I'll, wait a second. You let said me, let me just take charge, John. Hold on, John. I'll, let me just take charge. Okay. So Edge, you've, made, you've made an assertion. You've made an assertion. I don't know why I'm getting no. feedback either. Can you just turn off your watch page, my friend, or turn down your speakers, one or the other? Um, you made an assertion that we were taught the Earth spins with the scientific method. Correct. Yes, I've made that assertion. That Excellent. Through doubt, our Excellent. original belief. 
Yeah, I, 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 does, I just needed a yes. You, you don't, you, you we, don't follow the subtleties that, right? of conversation, do you, my friend? So yes, I'm just confirming the position that you've made. It's not yeah. me leading you to waffle on indefinitely. So you've made a claim. What are you doing, though, in trying to explain the Earth's flat rather than waffling on indefinitely and not explaining what what's at the edge or why it's flat? Right. Like so you've made a claim that you've got <laughs> a method adhered to to establish that we spin. Now we're going to challenge yeah, okay. you to... The Earth spins. Yeah, you, you'd being what you're doing at the moment is behaving like a globehead, talking over the top of me while I'm trying to establish the conversation as you've laid it down. You've made okay. a positive. I was trying to do the yeah, same that. Doesn't thing mean you, talk over going. the top that's of going. me while I'm in the middle of a sentence. That means shut up, understand that <laughs> I'm in charge, and I'm well, trying to continue angry. the conversation you be, between you and you like the person you're addressing. Shut up do while I talk. You yourself because you're in charge. Yes, well, I am angry. in charge. Calm down, man. Just chill. <laughs> Don't talk while I talk. Simple. I don't like other people talking, so I'm He's just going to talk. He's the show host. Get you, out. <clears throat> you're making oh, yourself wait. sound real dumb right now, bro. Right. So just I'll relax. And I'll, calm try, down. I'll, I'll try a third time. That doesn't mean talk <laughs> over the top of me before I finish my statement. You've made okay, a positive okay. claim that you've got scientific method adherence when establishing that the Earth spins. Now we want you to back that claim please okay i'm ready can i go can i speak well, no I the conversation the reason i've stepped in is so that you and the person you're debating in this case john don't step over each other and when you do i've got to do what i've just done with you rumpusing the crap out of the show host sure me I'll, I'll, I'll that, and now middle. you're doing it again reasonable. you see i'm in the middle of I'm, talking, I'm talking and you. you've decided that it's your turn Listen to, to talk asshole <laughs> so understand that i'm the show host and trying to take charge of a laughing hyena okay you're pretty funny Go ahead, John. Okay, right. No, so, it's not you your turn. He doesn't I, get it. You the just conversation. Said I could go. Can I not, you can are I not speak? clearly stupid. No, you can't. Wait your freaking turn. Your conversation is between <laughs> okay. you and someone else, not me. I'm trying to take charge of you who can't control yourself. So, you have made a claim. I'm free. Yeah, you're still doing it, aren't you, my friend? You can't seem to control yourself. <laughs> just pop yourself on mute, and when I've finished. I'll explain to you because cool. I'll, you're I'll clearly myself. struggling with this concept. I'll tell you that I've finished because clearly you don't take normal cues like a normal person. So clearly I'll explain not. it again. And before I've even started, he's interrupted me. What a shock. I'll try again. It's the fifth time. You've made a claim. Now somebody has challenged that claim. I have interrupted because rumpusing or lots of interruptions started mainly from you. I want the other person you're speaking to to go next after I finish. That means don't talk. Listen to what will be said based on your claim that scientific method adherence has been achieved when proving Earth spins. Don't talk. Listen. Over to you, John. Natural phenomena observed, please. Sorry, could you repeat that? Yes, natural phenomena observed, please. Natural phenomena observed, please. What does that mean? That is the first step of the scientific method. Yeah. Observe, please. What's that? What What is the scientific method? Can you explain it to me? I'll just take over again. <laughs> I'll I'll repeat it for the fifth time. Again, don't talk. Listen. <laughs> You. Okay. I'm, I'm I got one word. One word. I'll try again. Don't talk. Just listen. You made a claim. That claim used the words scientific method. Now you are asking us what your claim is. This is retarded. 
I've finished talking now. Thanks for slowing it down for me. I really needed that. Yeah, so why are you asking us what the scientific method is? It's part of your claim. But you're also using the scientific method, doubt, to try and explain your claim that the Earth's flat. I didn't make it's, that it's... claim. You came in with a claim of scientific <laughs> method adherence when proving Earth spins. And I haven't made a claim. You came in with a claim that of put scientific quotes around method it. unadherent. Yeah. Put quotes. Put quotes around it. Put quotes around the claim I made. Yeah, I've put quotes. I'm waiting for the quote with quotes around it. Start by saying make quote, quote end by saying quote, end quote. It's, but it comes from you. Say say what you would like. Go. I'm asking you, the person that's claimed I've made a claim that you're rebutting, when in <laughs> fact you have made a claim. Quote. But in you saying uh, I've I made a claim. I just said the word quote. That means I was claim, about to quote right? you, and you took the slightest of <laughs> pause to mean that you should talk. Quote. <laughs> You, you claim that I've made a claim. There though. he goes again. So now I'm there he goes again. He can't quote me, but he's got a rumpus. <laughs> so what's happened here is you've come and made a claim and you what have no idea what you're even claiming. You've used the words, <laughs> quote, scientific method, and you don't know what that is. That makes I know you exactly what the scientific fundamentally method is. Would you like to, retarded. Would you like to like Now, to I appreciate that you, you need to make sure that it can't be heard that I point out just how retarded you are to make a claim about something that you don't understand. <laughs> Nathan you need to Oakley stop before God. you get yourself into a panic attack, man. Really ridiculous. The scientific method, at its most basic... Is Shut your mouth! How dare you! Don't tell me what the scientific method is. We understand at a fundamental level that you are retarded <laughs> based on your claim. <laughs> Don't laugh, you're Man, retarded. Yeah, you dude. have embarrassed you're yourself here. Retarded, but just chill out. <laughs> I'm perfectly dude, calm. First... I'm telling a retard that he has embarrassed himself. That would be you, the laughing hyena who asked us what the scientific method was. Then we pointed out that that would be a requirement for you to know it based on you claiming it. And now you're about to tell us what the scientific method is. You're having a laugh, okay. sunshine. You're an embarrassment. Yeah, we're going to laugh. Yeah, I'm embarrassing myself. Dude, dude, you have no is. idea what an observed phenomenon is? You had to ask, what does that mean? Are you kidding? Yeah. That's what, and we, you we, came we in here with scientific reality, method? Surely, like you're you kidding, are. You're right? You're doubting the fact that we've claimed that the Earth is around? <laughs> you're just doubting. Everyone's doing it. Oh, shut up with your baseless assertion, you <laughs> moron. <laughs> is it okay it. if I call you wannabe rompers? Sting. Because... You <laughs> seem to act like Rumpus, but you're not actually as smart as Rumpus. Nah, this guy doesn't even know. Kind of sounds like Rumpus, <laughs> but I'm not doing Rumpus a service. To okay, me. okay, let's 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 chill out, guys. Just chill. I'd like you to explain to me in your terms, in your beliefs, in your claims, what doubt is, and then we'll work from there. I don't give a crap what you want. You've just demonstrated to us that you are retarded. Do you think we care what You've your requests are? I'm retarded, and so now you're talking, talking over me like. again. So it would seem that every time I start like. talking, this m complete moron decides that that's his cue to talk. I appreciate that when I talk, it's humiliating for a fundamental moron who asks the person who he's made a claim to what his claim means. That makes you fundamentally retarded. You are no longer in a position to ask anything of me or anybody here, retard. Okay, can you listen to me? For no! Didn't you understand the words that just came out of my mouth? You are not in a position to make any more claims here. You are fundamentally retarded, having asked us to explain what your claim means. I'm not going to spend the next 10 minutes with you making a claim and then asking us to explain what the hell it means, you stupid boy. Please Please, dear, just listen to me. Uh, let me make. No! Do you not understand that we do not want to listen to the bamblings of a retard? That would be you, having demonstrated that you don't understand anything you say. You don't come here and say, scientific method proves we're spinning, and we go, oh yeah, what's your observed phenomena? And you go, what's that? <laughs>
Laugh it up, you stupid retard. Do you now understand that we don't want to listen to the babblings of a retard? That would be you. You're, you're angry. I'm laughing. Chill out. Uh, I, I agree with him there. It is pretty funny. So I agree with you <laughs> laughing. But the problem is you're laughing at yourself. You're just laughing Shouldn't at yourself, Shouldn't we all man. laugh at ourselves? Just stop being so fucking serious. Take a joke. Jesus. The, the, the name of the show include anything about a joke? Flat Earth Debate. Not Flat Earth Joke. Hey, Tommy. So, is it Sonny? Tommy? Can you hear us? On the show back in the 80s, in the 80s through about the 130, the whole St. B debacle when you guys got spanked. Yeah, I was, I was around there. That was fun times. I like what you got going on now, though. I know you guys have created a bunch of new definitions and haven't let anyone uh, come on. Some, and uh, are you some previously cool. toe tag on, troll that's oh. coming to well done, talk chocolate. shit. And then you got uh, Quantum Eraser in here pretending he's a friggin' genius. <laughs> he's the biggest moron in here. You want to go debate real people? <laughs> oh well, we're here now. Did you want to debate him? No, I don't want to debate because I'm not a good debater. But there's good debaters that you can debate, and he doesn't do it. So you're just here to add hominess. Wow. Well, well, you guys do it all day. You guys do it all day. That's all you do is add hom and make up, uh, create definitions that have no. Okie dokie then. Holly's way is muted. You sorry? Holly's way. way. I think he has something to say. Hey, 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 Holly's way. Oh, hello. 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 Can you hear me? I can hear you. Are we are we still debating? We are still debating. This is a debate show. Am I am I the sole glober here? It doesn't really matter. Hopefully you'll have a one to one conversation with someone else. Okay, I would like I would like to not talk to QE if that's possible. Talk to whoever you want. Can I talk to you? Want to talk to me? You can talk to me. Okay, I would just honestly. Can you explain certain things in your flat Earth model to me? Because I don't understand how they work. No worries. In your model. No worries. I'll start yeah. by saying, I don't have a model. So, unless you're going to hold up some straw man that isn't my model, because I don't have one, and I'll explain why, then this isn't a conversation I can have with you because I don't have a model. Models are pseudoscience. They don't prove anything. We don't live on a model. That would be called okay, but a... Do you, do I haven't have quite one? finished talking. There we go. Oh, you God. just pop yourself on mute while I explain why i say we don't can live you, on a can model you quicken it up excuse me can i quicken it up yeah you you in some this sort of rush kind of you you're in a bit of a rush got stuff to do uh yeah well go on then off you go well, no 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 i've got time Just oh, not well then lot. well then Shut your chops and just listen rather than interrupting me and telling me to get on with it. I'll take as long as I need. This, I'll take as long as I need. Preferably without a fundamentalist religious zealot interrupting me while I point out. Whoa. Yeah, that, yeah, that's another that's interruption, be. wouldn't it be? That would be an interruption. Yeah, you just insulted me. I called you a fundamentalist religious zealot. That's what you are. You don't like the that, definition, that's, that's tough. That, that sounds really bad, but it's not actually that bad. Is it Globehead Feelings Day today? What yeah. the hell's going on can, here? Can, can anyway, you like just prove your spinning bore religion? Anyway, I'll love? just finish. I still haven't addressed his first baseless assertion leveled at me that I have a model that I should somehow defend. I still haven't got to the end of that because he's rumpus the hell out of me. So, I'll try once more. Claiming that we live on a model, in this case the heliocentric model, is a reification fallacy you ever heard that term before no i feel like you're missing the point you don't know what a reification fallacy is but you think that uh, i'm no, missing feel, the I point think, that I i'm think, making even though you don't whatever, know what a reification fallacy is you oh think i'm missing the point that i'm making 
I'm asking you if you understand Ooh, something yeah. and you're telling me I'm missing the point. No, I'm making the point. You just don't understand what reification fallacies are. So no, don't project your ignorance onto me. You don't understand the point that I am making. I highly doubt whatever fallacy you're talking about is relevant to my point. It's called reification. Look it up before you decide that it's not relevant, my friend. That would be extremely arrogant now, wouldn't it? Given that you don't know what it is. Yeah, I, I agree it is arrogance. But yeah, I feel shut up then. So shut up. <laughs> just look it up. No, my, my no just look it up. Based. I've addressed your question, dick. You asked me about my model no, that you felt I should defend. And I've told you, I don't have one. It's a reification fallacy. Now, you've said in the interim that I'm sure it's not the fallacy I've claimed, even though you're completely ignorant of it. Yeah, I know the score here. You're dumb and you want to project onto me your thick nature like I don't understand the point I'm making, which is what you claimed. No, sunshine. You don't know what reification is. So keep your chop shut, piss off and go and look it up. Okay, I found out what it is. I didn't, I didn't Read it. assert that we live on a model. I just wondered if you had some sort of idea about the Earth you lived on. Uh, and I when understand. I say, if you've got an idea, that's oh, what Oh, that I wasn't the end, was it? That was, there was more. Model, maybe there was I more. There was more, was there? Oh, my bad. Just, just, just go on indefinitely. You ask a question and then just carry on babbling. I don't think I was babbling. Can you hurry it up a bit? I've I've said what I wanted to say. I wanted to know. But just get it out a bit quicker, sunshine. I haven't got all day. I have got things to do. So chop what? chop. What's your scientific okay. evidence for your spinning ball religion? No, no. I when I came on. Not this no, no. Live stream. Chop chop. No, let me haven't speak. got all day. When I came on chop this chop. Stream, What's your scientific you evidence and make it snappy about the flat earth team. Make it snappy. I Scientific evidence, spinning me. ball religion. Get on with Do it. You only salad. start talking when I start talking. Is that how this works? You're not going quick enough. Hurry up. Okay, so you're going to let me speak now? You're just wasting time. Hurry up. Okay, okay. I wanted to know how certain natural phenomena on the earth work on the flat earth. That's what I came here to ask. Okay. There's a method you can employ. I want to know. How uh, does, like I said, work, do you just babble indefinitely? Works. You've asked no. a question. Do you not want the answer? Yeah. Do you just want to ra rattle off a million questions? Okay, yeah, no. okay, okay, let's start with so seasons. So shut up! How do seasons work? So shut up! You've said, <laughs> I want to know how certain <laughs> phenomena works. There's a method yeah, I you can... Yeah, I want to know how they work. Well, then shut the hell up and listen to the answer. There's a method okay, I'm you waiting. Can... There's a method you can employ. What method? Oh, it's called the scientific method. Didn't that guy earlier try and come on and talk about it, but you just talked over him? I talked over him when he asked me what a phenomena is. Are you having a laugh? No, he was just retarded. No. He came and declared that like he, he had... Is, excuse me, I'm talking. He claimed he had an adherence to the scientific method that demonstrated earth spins. Then he asked us what a natural phenomena was, demonstrating his retarded nature. So no, I didn't talk over him. He was just a retard. I think that he wanted to know what you thought a natural phenomena was. I think I he don't knew care. what he was talking about. Yeah, I don't care what, what he, he wanted. After he demonstrated he was a retard, I didn't care what he wanted anymore. You should probably stop with the baseless insults. No, listen again. He demonstrated that he was a retard by using the words, quote, scientific method, and then asking us what a very specific part, in fact, the very first step of the scientific method is. That, by definition, made him a retard. Do you follow? Comprende, essay? No, I don't think... I don't think the definition of retarded asks whether what does or not retarded you know what mean. The first step what does it mean? What is, is the definition of retard? All right, let me let me get it up. What do you mean? Let me get it up. You've just said that's not the definition, so you don't know again. Yeah, again, uh, delay like or hold back excuse me, I'm talking. I'm pointing back. out now that you are retarded, having claimed that it doesn't meet the definition, and then telling me that you're going to go and look it up after the fact. 
So you don't know what retard means. To retard. I know what it doesn't To be mean. retarded. Wait, can I call you retard for like some... If you've got a demonstration of me in some way being mentally held back, then you can level that at me. If you don't have an um, example of me being mentally held back, then no. However, in this instance, like the, you have you... demonstrated that you would make a claim based yeah, on something that you, you don't, don't need to, what, look up now? Yeah, that's a demonstration of being mentally held back, otherwise known as retarded. Sorry, Sunshine, but you're not going to get to level this at me unless you've got an actual example of me being cognitively held back. I feel like that whole sentence was enough proof. Really? Well, then you're just Why slow. is that? Why is that? I understood. Hey, no, no, no. I'm talking to Nathan. Don't speak. This is between me and Nathan. Don't tell my panel what to do, dickhead. Well, no, yeah, what, dude, I relax. just wanted to talk to you. He just interrupted the guy earlier when he interrupted yeah, you. Yeah, because were you like... made a baseless assertion. And unfortunately, it's a baseless assertion that I can't defend. I can't say, of course, what I said was understandable because I could understand it, but it could be total gibberish. Someone on the panel then said, no, I understood every word of it, destroying your baseless assertion, which I could not defend. Thank you, Chocolate, for that very cogent and poignant interruption. Maybe that sentence was a demonstration of how I'm cognitively retarded also. Yeah. No Probably is. Do you have some evidence for your oh, spinning no. wall space? I didn't know. No, 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 no. I didn't want to talk to him. <laughs> Why not? No. I didn't want to talk to him. You, you've offered nothing to any of us so far. Well, I want to talk to you, and I have been talking to you. But you won't seem to answer my question. The only question you asked that about I came a model. here with. You asked about a model, and I told you that unless you're going to show No, no, no. Me, Again, no, we've gone over this. I said I made so a So I have answered then. So are you going to interrupt me when I point out that your basic yes. assertion that I haven't yes, answered you're is incorrect? You're going to interrupt where I point out that you're lying. Yes. I have addressed it. Wait, so I you lied. have I lied. asked a question while you interrupt me continually, and I have answered yeah. it. So you saying we've covered this and then talking over me is to hide, obscure, remove from view the fact that you're lying. You have asked a question about a model. I have addressed it. So you are a liar. Um, so can we move on from that then? What, you being a liar? It? Me demonstrating? Are you going to tell me okay, that it's not sure, fair whatever. name? Listen up, sunshine. I am demonstrating by your claim that I did not answer your questions with an example of me answering your question specifically about a model and how it's a reification fallacy and getting you to look up a word you didn't understand is most definitely me answering your question. Your baseless assertion Except is nothing more, not nothing more than not a lie. Now, I understand that when it comes to the conclusion pointing out that you're a liar, you don't like it and have to talk over me. But you are a liar, and I am giving an example, not a baseless assertion, not me just calling you retarded without demonstration, but an actual example of you lying about me. No, I haven't ignored your questions. No, I've actually got you to look up a word you didn't know. That would be reification. And then also a different word that you didn't know, retard. So, in fact, I have answered your questions about a model that I don't adhere to and the reification fallacy argument that would ensue had I not answered your question. So you're just a liar. Um, it, don't interrupt while I point out I, that you're a liar. Can I say something? You're a liar. Can no, I say no, no, this is the end of our so conversation. I don't converse with liars. That would be you, especially when they lie about me. I know you want to talk about me because you want airtime to lie about me. About how I haven't answered your questions when I have, you liar. Can I rephrase my question then? Because you No, you can't do anything. What it's like the last so time. What, wait, what part wait, of this aren't you getting? Well, I don't want to converse you, you, like, with a liar who off. lies about me. So You're just don't here next calling time. Me a liar. Let's I'm not allowed to up. speak apparently because that's interrupting. Asshole. I can't do anything right, without let's someone shut else this saying like absolute asshole up. People I did. who come here, I did. Go ahead. People come here and lie about me. 
and then say, but I really want to talk about you and chew out your airtime for your audience and lie about you incessantly. Then deny that I've lied about you. These people are just scum. They lie about their world. They lie about me. They lie about members of the panel. And they lie to themselves. And that's why I'm smug. Because I'm not sat here lying to myself about the shape of the earth and convincing myself that I've got an adherence to the scientific method. I just know that the pretender clowns who come here and say the words scientific method haven't got the vaguest clue what they talk about. And when they straw man us with a model reification, we don't need it. We know instinctively and observably that the world is flat. And with that, I'll say a huge, massive, enormous thank you to all of you who join, joined us on the Nathan Oakley live stream. Stay tuned if you're watching on Nathan Oakley 1980, as there will be an after show to follow. If you are watching live, check out NathanOakley.com and the Flat Earth Debate Forum to keep up to date with the community debate. I've been Nathan Oakley, and I'll see you all in the next video. Oh, what a day! What a lovely day! Guys, I'm out. I'll see you. Hey, Paul. Hey, Paul. Well, that was invigorating. I hate it, man. Well, These people you guys asked for like, ballers. Just liars, <laughs> dealing with scumbags. It just does my head in sometimes. Especially when they're just here laughing about it. Yeah, I've come here to lie about you. And lie about what I understand. And make baseless assertions that we've got scientific proof the Earth's a sphere. Or give us some proof of it. Ha 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 ha. I haven't got a clue what I'm talking right. about. I did have some things I was what, what does that mean? When we were talking about the Cor Coriolis effect, but uh, couldn't really get a chance. There was so much going on. <laughs> but it was quite funny. What did you have to say about the Coriolis effect? Yeah, because I, I was going to jump in with a couple of gifts that I had put into the uh, Discord. Um, that one of the things I had noticed just in the, when we were talking earlier about how you look at things differently uh, once you start realizing that things just aren't the way you've always been taught. Watching cloud movements at high altitude, low altitude, and how they go in different directions, that then got my head thinking, well, how can that actually work? If it was a spinning globe and the atmosphere or the air, whatever you want to call it, was tracking with it, how could you have such massively different cloud formations mm -hmm. or directions? I have no idea how to post up here, so I, I just put them in a couple of GIFs that I had found that sort of simulated what I have seen. Um, but I don't know if anybody can see them, but I did post them into Discord. But the short answer, they're, they're screwed either way. You, you can't, basically. The, the, the winds in all directions debunks that notion completely. So they're screwed if they've got the Earth and atmosphere attached. And if it's actually separate, you'd have Coriolis effect. In other words, you'd be able to demonstrate it with aircraft and such. So they're screwed either way, earth attached, spinning with an atmosphere spinning, which makes no sense at all. But they often claim it is uh, a tr an absolute Yeah, I agree. I mean, uh, that's why I, I just thought finding a GIF that shows it very clearly, which means anybody can walk outside, have a look up, and they can, on a, on a day where that would be obvious with the clouds, you can clearly see high altitudes go in one direction and low altitudes go in a, in a completely different direction, not even close to being in the same. Uh, I think you might be. Same. I think you might be confusing two arguments. Be careful of that the okay. Coriolis effect isn't a is an apparent deflection. So you're talking about actual directions. What your argument actually is is that the atmosphere is not attached to the Earth. Mm, yep. And we're going to go over this again. The Coriolis effect is going to be probably number one here for the next few weeks. So stay tuned. You're going to see it on Ballbusters again tomorrow.
Flash two days ago. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this goes out on Sunday, so it'll actually be yesterday that Busters went out. Even though this is Friday when we're recording it. Yeah, the, does the person understand what I'm talking? Who am I talking to? Name's Grave Digger, but when he talks, he reminds me of this YouTuber called Jim Browning who does like these videos about scam artists. It's it's obviously you're not him. It's just the same <laughs> accent. No, no, I'm not. But I, I can I can see where you're coming from. Yeah, similar similar accent. Yeah, you, you know the guy, right? Oh, I do. I do. I've watched some of his stuff too. Does he understand the the argument that I just made? Uh, yeah, yeah, I do. Uh, I, I, I mean, I may not use all the right terminology because I say some of this, although I've been looking into it for a while, I suppose it's only recently that I've really thrown myself in to see what the terms are, what actually uh, people are saying. Um, I find the, uh, I can't remember the name of the one of the broadcasts, I think it was last week, about the uh, line of sight gun. I thought that was quite fascinating, actually. Oh, the Sea Sparrow. Stay tuned. That's the one. It's coming again. Oh, Your yeah, way that, was, that was good. That, that was very good. Is that the first well, you've heard of that? I had heard yeah. of real guns and how they have to do certain things, but I'd never really looked into any sort of line of sight uh, weaponry before. So there's, a guy that, that was the a, first. there's a guy who details it for Mark Sargent, Strange World 21, and it's called uh, Missile Instructor something or other. But basically, he, he goes through it in great detail in an interview with Mark Sargent. And it was, it was quite interesting, the stuff that followed, although this kind of faded into the background. But he details what he does in the training and how he does it and how long he's been doing it and all the people he trains. Then people start calling him out for being a fraud. So he does a little video off his, off his camera phone with him flying into this, this gunship on the helicopter, you know, with him hanging off the edge, full on. He was ace, like 18. And then he goes into the training room and he gets a napkin and turns it over and it's got Mark Sargent or words that affect written on this napkin in, you know, scrawl, um, just to prove that he is who he says he is. But it was just so cool, you know, with some of the shots he got were like, wow, this is awesome. Especially when he was, you know, he lifts up the camera and shows the expanse of ocean that he's flying over. Just very cool stuff, you know. I love oh, that I'll sort of stuff. Oh, i have to check that out. Oh, it's well worth checking out. Strange World 21. Um, missile instructor, something or other is the title. That, that's really so that. funny that he brought those two up, right? But did you read my message, Nathan? I'm not monitoring uh, Skype if it's in Skype at the moment. No, over I, I sent it last night. Uh, possibly, you'll have to remind me. I did read my messages last night, so yes, probably. Yeah, the one where I suggested for the Ballbuster show tomorrow? I, I vaguely remember it. On the live show, I couldn't recall it. I know I've read something about what, what's going to be on Ballbusters, but it, yeah, I was up till very late. Oh, uh, okay. Sorry. Yeah, so those two arguments I wanted to go over again. <laughs> it's so funny he would say that. So the Coriolis effect and the Sea Sparrow will be subjects of interest again for tomorrow. Along with a couple other uh, Baltard arguments, we're going to take to the woodshed. Cool, 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 cool. So, hey, I got another idea for that. Uh, check that message out when you get a chance. Let's talk. Well, we could talk about that after the show. Sure, sure. Okay. I don't mind talking during the show because every time you say something like that, it completely kills all conversation, and it might as well be the point <laughs> I round out. So, no, you're not going to do it. <laughs> yeah. All right, are those ballers permanently muted or? No. Because they want to talk. No, they're not muted at all. They're in the after show. Yeah, they get, after the sh live show finishes, we, we just allow it to be a free for all. In other words, I, I won't. Yeah, I might still interject, but everyone's off mute and people can interrupt if they choose to. Okay, ballers, you're free. Share your pain. Oh. Hello. Oh my God. Freedom. Is is my baller brother gonna be unmuted as well? Rory, is that yeah? Muted? Everybody's oh. muted. Oh, actually, I do have to go. Hey, my, my time is up. Oh, that's sad. Oh, but Rory, Rory, time. yeah, I'll I'll be back tomorrow for Ballbusters. Don't you worry. Oh, cool. Yeah. Oh, excellent. Thank you. 
really appreciate your support. Anything on your mind? Sorry. Oh, on my mind? Not really, no. Anything on yours? Uh, just what's on your mind. Uh, and now I'm thinking about your belief, your interest in what's on my mind. How do you think the show went? Uh, I had fun, did you? It was alright. Yeah. I didn't have fun. You just lied about me and made up shit that you didn't understand. Okay, can we... Can you chill? That's pretty aggressive. Like, I'm not being aggressive. I'm simply asking questions, right? I'm doubting. Right. You, you didn't listen to what why, I said. Why are you angry with me? I d j can just explained that, it please? three seconds ago. Literally three seconds ago, I explained it. By calling me an idiot, right? No, I didn't call you an idiot. I said, I didn't enjoy it. You just lied about me and made up shit that you didn't understand. Who are you? If, a, if I can't guy, lie about just you, just some dude that you made up lies who are about. You? <laughs> really? Yeah, I'm just some dude I'm that you lied up about. Google. I'm just speaking. You're just having what fun making up shit about people you don't know. Yeah, I know. You're just having fun lying about anything. people and making up I'm shit, pretending you. you understand. You might be having fun pretending, but I'm not a child. I don't go around pretending. You do. And you go around lying about people. That would be me. That's why I'm not having fun. If you're wondering why I'm aggressive, it's because you've come on, made up a load of shit you don't understand, and lied about me. Would that not make you aggressive if some random stranger just came along, made up a load of shit, and started lying about you? You'd just be laughing along, would you? Yeah. Hey, hey, just lie about me. Yeah, yeah, that's fun. No, not much fun Surely for me, that's mate. Exactly I'm the, the one same you're. As the flat earth not movement. much fun for just me. Lying. Not much fun for yeah. me. I'm the one being lied about by you. That answer your question. So when so when we look into the world and see around Earth and we lie about it, when you lie about it, when you say it's flat, <laughs> what are you doing? You're lying. You're surely. adorable. See, what what you did there? Adorable. Let's see, if, let's see if I can explain without him interrupting. You said I. I you stopped. No, he won't. And then he I can't help speaking. himself. He's asked a question. He doesn't want an answer. He just wants rhetoric, and then no rebuttal. Right? Just state your get it all out, sunshine. Blur your rhetoric. Go on. Okay. Uh, can you please state your point of view? No, don't ask me something. I just said blur ID, your rhetoric. Your mo modality. No, I just don't want endless no, questions. Please. Not a question. Rhetoric. Another word he clearly what? doesn't understand. Oh, my What's God. What's the question? Yeah, you <laughs> don't understand the, the word I've used, clearly. Otherwise, you would have done it. You didn't because you clearly don't understand what the word rhetoric means. Tell me what a question is and then I'll listen to you. I said, go on, spurt your rhetoric, and you didn't, presumably I, because you don't know no what rhetoric. that word means. Just, I'm asking for yours. What's rhetoric? What's... Yeah, you tell me. Go. I'm asking you. <laughs> but I'm asking you. Okay, no worries. You made a declaration. You said, the Earth is a sphere. That's called a begging the question fallacy, assuming your outcome. You're not proving anything. You're just declaring it because you're a fundy zealot, also declared earlier on this show. And then you told me that I'm a liar because I've declared the Earth is flat, while you're in the middle of making an assertion. No, I good don't point. think that's a liar. Good point, good I point. Think that's Rory. Hold on a okay. second, Rory. That Rory is the one that didn't know what the scientific method was, so he wasn't the liar one. Oh, oh my bad. No, no I get it. I, 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 there, there's not really there's much not to really, get. It's quite simple. <laughs> I didn't hear any of that. The, the liar guy left. You're good, Nathan. He's the other guy that didn't know what the scientific method was. I'm very sorry, then. I'm sorry. I take it all back. I thought you were someone else. Oh, no, no, no. It's chill. You just misunderstood. It's fine. No, no. I totally understand why you thought I was being overly aggressive with you. You didn't do anything wrong. Oh, sorry. no, no, no. <laughs> It's chill. Just, just, yeah. I just, like, we can be chill. It's fine. Don't take me asking questions as a personal attack on you. Just, just be happy to, be happy to not know something. <laughs> How cheeky is that? I'm very happy it's not very to know cheeky. things. <laughs> yeah, it's lovely, isn't it? But I'm I'm very so, happy not knowing things. Your your statement make, implies that I'm unhappy not knowing things, and that's far from exactly, the truth. Exactly, that's the point. 
I wouldn't be able to make such a statement if it didn't contradict itself. <laughs> Okie dokie. <laughs> okay, Nathan, let's run with your point of view. You called me a liar even though it wasn't true. So you believed I was a liar, right? In that moment, you did. Correct. Yeah? Yeah. You did. So I you did. believed something in the moment. You believed something to be true. Yeah? You made a conjecture that I was lying. Even though in the moment you believed it to be true, it really wasn't. So you conjectured that I was lying, even though I wasn't. Oh my do you god. See the, do you see the fallacy? Do you see uh, it? Uh, <laughs> well, not, not a fallacy. I was, I was wrong. Incorrect. <laughs> Mistaken. Yeah, you're wrong. Yes, that's correct. I apologise. I am sorry. It's fine. I was wrong. You don't have to apologise for being wrong. Like, everyone makes mistakes. That's yeah, the point. That's right. People think they're on a globe. People make mistakes. <laughs> People think they're on a flat earth. They make mistakes. No, definitely not. The earth is obviously and observe it be flat. But we go into space and observe it being round, so... Oh, do we? When did you uh, do it? Some oh, do. I haven't done that. Well, I've flown on a high altitude plane and seen the curvature of the earth. Flown on a high altitude plane? How high did you go? I can't really remember, honestly. But... For example, please Hold on. in your, Bear in your with system. Hold me a second. Sorry. I heard claim of high altitude plane. Now. Okay, let's let's ignore that. I, I don't care. Quite That's not necessary for me to, to prove anything. There. Don't worry. So you. Uh, it's no, no, all right. No, no, stop. Just, is just, this going to be one wait. of those times rumpusing is going to ensue because something devastating is on its way? Okay, okay. So I heard a claim of I've yeah. been on a high altitude plane. How, how now, did you hear it? Yeah, I heard your claim all right. What you I heard remember... You, you're you're claiming done... you heard it. Are you sure? Can you shut up, please? Yeah, he, sh he just shut up because I made him shut up. Yeah. I heard a claim. I've been on a high-altitude plane. Now, I've been on many, 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 many planes. I wouldn't call them high-altitude planes. I'd just call them planes. I've been on lots of them. And I always used to fantasize about going on a high altitude plane. Now here, had I been on a high altitude plane, you could be damn sure I'd know exactly how high I'd been. That would be something I'd pay very close attention to. So I'd like to know from you, not let's dance past it and go on to the next point, precisely how high the high altitude plane you went on was. Please. He left. Oh. <laughs> Yeah. Well, I'll just make this statement. That was definitely a lie. I'm back. Feeling good. Hello? Hello, Arwen. <laughs> what happened? I think nothing's happening. We're just chilling. Is the after show still running? After show is still running. Have you got something to plug? Is that why you're asking? <laughs> yes, it's called the Flat Earth Early Bird Show. It's on my channel every day, one p.m. Amsterdam. Uh, sorry, one p.m. London time. And yeah, we talk about a lot of things. I I mostly talk about a lot of things, but I am open for people's for people on my panel, and. Uh, Come and watch it sometime. That was the worst plug you've ever done. It probably. I, I'm kind of sweating my ass off from running up the stairs in the heat. Yeah. So check out the Flat Earth Early Bird. It's on A R W I J N R Win channel. It's amazing. He has guests. He has freak outs. He drinks tea. It's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Cookouts. <laughs> Come one, come all to Arwen. I do drink tea, though. That is true. Don't, don't put yes, the least you, exciting and you bit. sometimes slurp very loudly. <laughs> it's not that bits. loud, but for some reason, the microphone picks it up really loud. Arwen, your microphone is ridiculous. Like, just when you come off mute, we can hear that. I know, and sometimes it goes on mute without me actually touching the mute button. Like yesterday. That's a little crazy. 
I was, you could literally see me uh, going around with my hands, and suddenly it's, just, it's muted. And then I'm looking, and the button is suddenly flickering. You've got a Yeti, like, right? What? I didn't a, touch it. Have you got a Yeti? Yes. My Yeti does something quite peculiar, right? So if I wear the wrong kind of shoes and touch the mic, the static will shut off the computer. Whoa, serious? Yeah, that's, it'll that's shut it down. Radical. I'm not kidding wow. you not. I have to be very particular about wearing certain shoes. <laughs> okay, well, my shoes have a thick rubber sole. That's lovely. I never get static shocks, really. Only like on, uh, what is it? Sinks, you know, like totally uh, open metal sinks and like cash cashier registries. That kind of thing. That sometimes gives me a shock, especially in winter. But overall, no, rarely. And not with my computer, thank God. Because my computer probably wouldn't like that a lot. And my good old computer doesn't break down ever. I'm really, only my internet connection breaks down, but that's not my computer doing that. Ranty's got his first um, live show now. I mean, when this goes out to an audience, it'll be two days after the fact, but in about 20 minutes, no, 40 minutes from now, Ranty's mm -hmm. doing his first roundtable, right? Yeah. You're going to be in chat? Probably. Yeah, I'm going to try to be there. Definitely, I guess. I might, I might round out this live, this after show, just so I can watch it. What's what, the round table in reference? Round what's, what's the round table oh. in reference to? Damn, damn! I can't think of a joke fast enough. It's referencing the radius of the Earth. Like, oh, the round. I get it. No, I don't, I don't think there is anything re referencing anything. It's just JLB called, Arthur his, Legend? called his show The Round Table. David Weiss has had a few round table shows. Round table is just a kind of, just a just a term, isn't it? I don't know. Well, Normally round table a... to me means more than more than two people though, right? It means a group discussion. Yeah, that's what no, I was thinking. No, 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 not just, not just that. It also means equality among everyone. Because there's like a rectangular table where the head of the company or whatever sits at the head. And a round table suggests more equality. It's the Arthurian principle. No, no, that's overcome with a bigger chair. <laughs> I don't know about that one. But yeah, I might that's be the symbol of the round table. Yeah, but what Equal about the giant partners. chair? Um, no, one second, guys. Let me interrupt this this discussion for a second. Be rational. You are unmuted. Do you have a question? No. Be be rational. Do you have a question? No. <laughs> no he's not talking to you, Arwen. He's talking to be rational. Oh. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> okay. Be rational. You got little yellow jacket. Is that yellow jacket or a bumblebee? Sorry. Be I John was rational. Accusing me of not being rational. Anyway. <clears throat> be rational is a chat troll. Well, be rational came off mute. Go ahead. What's your question? I don't know what oh, you're, oh the mic's not working. Voice. Sorry about that. Hey, listen, what you can do is jump out and then jump back in, and it should work. And if not, try turning your computer off and on again. Yeah. Or go ahead. Uh, sounds like it's still not working, huh? Eric, I, can't you hear me? I've got a very squeaky voice. <laughs> okay, hold on a second. He's, he's pounding a bunch of questions for me here. Ah, uh, Quantum oh, Eraser. Is, this old nutshell, this old chestnut, that's what they used to do in the Hangouts. They'd come in, oh yeah, my mic doesn't work. And then they'd spam the chat from the, from the boxes with questions. You've got a mic, be rational, come on. 
No, he just wants to waste our time. Because that's the last safe haven. Okay, he's asking for the range of the sea, sea Sparrow. It is more than 50 kilometers. How about that? You need the citation with that? Hold on one second. I'll put it in the live chat. Yeah, I I know you need a citation. I, what what part of hold on a second? I'll get the link and put it in the side chat. What part of that was particularly confusing? There you go. Thank you very much. Really appreciate it. You're welcome. Please don't take the piss out my high squeaky voice. Yeah, listen, so go ahead and study up. Well, they ain't going to be able to hear this until after the show, so that's cool. Um, uh, for the show, for the ball buster. So I'd like them to study up, you know, and ha so they can have some half-decent arguments so they won't come in unawares and unprepared. Uh, wishful thinking, John. It's their now strategy he asked me, not okay, to be prepared. Okay, hold on a second. Be rational. Where does it say surface to surface? It says surface to surface in the primary functions of the weapon. That's where it says surface to surface. Now, if it doesn't, in the, for military weapon systems, if it doesn't delineate any subcondition where that effective range is sort of conditional, then the range is more than 50 kilometers for all primary functions. Do you understand that? What, what you're saying? I'm is sorry, I'm having a conversation with somebody in chat. So sure, but what, uh, I just want to—I just want to clarify what you're saying. Are you saying that if they don't specifically designate a limitation, in other words, for example, and I'm not saying this is the case, but the beam laser can only achieve a distance of 10 kilometers, therefore the range of this weapon is limited to 10 kilometers. But if they don't specifically designate a limitation, then it's inferred that it's more than the quoted amount. Uh, precisely. So uh, a good example would be the M203 grenade launcher. It has a maximum effective range for two conditions, right? So they'll delineate those two conditions as point and area targets, and those two will be delineated. Now, if there is no delineation in the weapon systems, then its primary functions, if they say the primary function is this and this and this and that, then when they say the range is more than 50 kilometers, there is no condition put on it. The range is more than 50 kilometers. Hope you understand that. Clear as crystal. And your appeal that you keep appealing to is an is a uh, specific fallacy. What if the function is over the horizon? What if the function they can't be over the horizon because it's a line of sight weapon? And your fallacy is an argument from silence. By the way, just to let you know, argument from silence. Yeah, it doesn't it's an sound much like silence. an argument. To it's usually, me. go ahead. Somebody was talking. Oh, I said that doesn't sound like much of an argument to me. <laughs> yeah, you usually hear argument from silence around um, uh, the existence of Jesus Christ, contemporary sources, and and things like that. You'd have to explain it more. I still don't understand. I didn't catch you. Would you go ahead and say I, I that one more time? I, I still don't understand. I don't understand this fallacy. I've never heard this fallacy. Argument from silence. And then you said it's contextualized around the uh, sources for Jesus Christ. But I still don't understand what the fallacy is or how it works. Yeah, they're saying that since nobody... 
what their claim is that there is very limited people affirming Christ's existence. Uh, like nobody. That's untrue, but that is an argument from silence because just because nobody wrote it down at that time, they didn't have, you know, iPhones and modern communication systems that there, it's an argument from silence fallacy. There is no argument there. It's just no one has said anything. Are, are, is that better? Did I screw that up a little bit? So if I was to say that back in the, AE, I don't know, let's say BC, doesn't matter what date, there was no document. There was no documentation of the sun. No one was talking about the sun. No one wrote down about the sun. Therefore, it's if I was to argue that therefore the sun wasn't there because it wasn't in any way documented, that would be an argument from silence. Mm, that's stretching it. <laughs> well, maybe I, maybe I don't understand it fully then. Air, air. Let's, it's a conclusion based on the silence of the opponent when the opponent is refusing to give evidence for any reason. So the sun wouldn't be a good one because the sun is still, you know, we have the sun. So that's kind of, it's kind of squirrely. I'll have to look at it. Then. I'll, a I'll look a it better up. one is the conclusion that is based on the absence of statements rather than on their presence. Okay, so because he didn't say that blah, 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 that infers that. It's like, well, hold on. It's essentially reading between the lines, right? It's almost like that, yes, with a little twist on it. It's just okay. silence. No one has said anything, therefore it's not true. That's the, the, the flaw in the reasoning process. I understand now. I get it. Like I said, that, that you don't hear that fallacy too much, except when it's in with um, uh, arguing for uh, contemporary historians along uh, around the time of Christ. You see how that could easily uh, be employed. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, it's not like today with with modern communication systems, and there's philosophers on every single corner. Right. And historians everywhere that could write everything down real quick. Well, back then it wasn't kind of like that. <laughs> Be rational. Did I answer your question? Now he wants evidence of a surface-to-surface -surface strike. Yeah, I got one back here in my back pocket. Hold on a second. For goodness sakes. Yeah, we want an experiment. Come on, John, demonstrate it to him. Send that demonstration right to his house. And with that, I'm going to say a huge, massive, enormous thank you to all of you who've tuned in on the Nathan Oakley 1980 premiering stream for this very calm and relaxed round out to the show. A huge, massive thank you to all of today's debating panel for making this after show possible. And of course, massive thank you to all of you in the premiering audience for tuning in, hopefully smashing the super chat, liking, commenting, sharing, subscribing, and all that good stuff. Be sure to check out NathanOakley.com and the Flat Earth Debate Forum, which you should definitely join. I've been Nathan Oakley, and I'll see you all in the next video. Oh, what a day! What a lovely day!